In this video, we'll look at Cruise, Snapgrid, creating patterns and the lock function. When working with pieces on your work plane, it can take a bit of work to flip, rotate and reposition your pieces. So Cruise allows you to do this more easily. If you think of Cruise as a magnet and the icon looks like a magnet, so it makes more sense to think of it that way. Select the piece you want to move and click Cruise. You'll see a mini green plane underneath the shape and a white dot. Click and drag this dot over the shape that you want to attach it to and you will see it snap to its face. Remember, this will attach to the surface of the shape and not cut into it. If you decide to make this shape a hole, then be sure to insert it into the piece so that it will actually make a hole in it. See how it looks when you don't insert it. Now look at the difference when you do insert it. Make sure to group to see the result. Snap Grid is a great way to fine tune the position of your shapes. You can use the arrow keys to move them. Just make sure to remember that the up arrow will not lift your piece up off the work plane. You still have to use the black cone to do that. The default setting is to move in one millimeter increments, but you can change this to different settings if you need to increase or decrease this. We saw how to duplicate in an earlier video, but let's see how to create patterns with the same feature. I use this semi-sphere as a center and duplicate it. While it's still selected, I'll rotate it and reposition it. It's important that the shape is not deselected during this process. Now I duplicate it and it will reproduce the shape, but with the same rotation settings and position as before. Now if I group it, it's treated as one piece and then I can add the center and align them. You can do the same with a rectangular pattern. If I duplicate and then hold shift and drag the duplication over, you can see that I can choose the spacing between the shapes. Make sure to keep the shape selected and click duplicate again. Hold shift to select multiple shapes and save time by duplicating them together instead of one by one. Select the shapes and group to see the result. And finally, you can lock pieces in your design if needed. Select the piece and click lock. You'll see a purple outline around the pieces that are locked and you'll no longer be able to modify them. This can be useful when working with more complex designs, but sometimes it's just good to know in case you click on it by accident. Click on the lock icon again to unlock. 